Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today we are out here for another Will It Start? Possibly, well, this is 100% our most difficult Will It Start I think it's going to be to date. And uh, the reason being is because we can't even see the Will It Start. It's some kind of a semi truck. If you guys tuned into our last video, we kind of toured around here and looked at it. We're back up here in Plant City. And yeah, there's a semi truck in there somewhere. But we've got all kinds of cool tools with us for our Will It Start video. We've used some of them in the past videos and I haven't really told you guys where they came from, but we've got this sweet brush cutter here, our jump box, all kinds of stuff. So let's get this stuff unloaded and uh, got a few things I want to mention. All right, our first tool we're gonna be using for our Will It Start is an Echo Weed Whacker here. Always need that because we're always working with brush, as you can see. And then I picked up this Swisher, um, come on, baby, Swisher brush cutter here a while back, but we hadn't really got it going. Um, and the little bit of money we, yeah, come on now. Ah, there we go. A little bit of money we had to invest in it. <laughs> it's one of those uh, peacocks, yeah. We got her fixed up and going, um, but this is one sweet tool that we're gonna be using. And of course we've got our jump box. So as you guys know, we are always doing these crazy wheel starts and I've been hard up looking for an amazing company to work with to sponsor these videos. Cause as you, I'm sure you maybe have guessed, it does cost money to load up all these tools, buy batteries every time we're gonna do a wheel at start. Cause most of the time we're not actually buying the stuff we're starting. Uh, we're just kind of doing a video and bring you guys some awesome content. So we've teamed up with Lane Finder. Lane Finder is our official sponsor for all of our Will It Start videos moving forward, which makes me very happy because we got a long-term great relationship with these guys. And as you guys know, I enjoy fixing things and making them work. And one thing I've been noticing lately since we've started doing some of these truck driving videos is having encounters with other CDL drivers and some of my viewers in the comments that they're dealing with a lot of BS getting truck driving jobs, when you're going to work for other companies, et cetera. And that's why I'm introducing Lane Finder to you guys today. Lane Finder is by far the best CDL job board with over 8,500 companies on their website. Although I'm not out hunting for CDL jobs, I have hopped on their website because I've had a few friends that are CDL drivers that have been looking for jobs and I pointed them to the website. We kind of went through it together and it's super easy to navigate. And you can pretty much find any truck driving job you want from reefer, LTL, flat bedding, dry vans, literally anything. So if you're a truck driver in the US, go check out lanefinder.com. I'll put the link in the description below. We're gonna get more into the details as we go on with our Will It Start videos and our friends over at Lane Finder. We've got some pretty cool stuff coming. We're gonna be doing some really awesome videos with them that's not Will It Start related, which I'm really pumped about. So go check them out, lanefinder.com forward slash Bruce Wilson. Link will be in the description below and also a link so you can download the app and get, find yourself a CDO truck driving job. So you guys remember the uh, brush cutter here, it's a Swisher we picked up probably about three or four months ago in Kentucky when I bought a tractor. It had been sitting, we needed to rebuild the carburetor on it, uh, put some fresh gas in it, stuff like that. So we got it going, got the car carburetor kind of rebuilt, so it runs, it works, but we're gonna use that to mow over all of this crazy vines and stuff and uh, try to get in here to where the semi is. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's crank this baby up and go to cutting.
Our wilderness has been knocked down. I don't even know where to start pulling. So I feel like something's gonna jump out and get me. I'm gonna be here all day. Yeah, there's the, these things are growing through the grill. What? There's a spider? Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't be scaring me like that now. Come on. I see a truck. What is it? Jeez. So, Mr. L Mr. Gillespie said that we were out here looking at this thing last time. He said this thing had been parked here for over 25 years. So they just basically just quit using it, so it got parked. Watch somebody in the comments be like, oh, that's poison ivy. This, I'm sure maybe poison ivy's in here, but this ain't it. I'm waiting on a bird to have a nest in there, come running out of a raccoon or something. Because the windows are down. Something in there. there is something? There could be. Ooh. <laughs> here, you come do it. Jeez, it's never ending. This is a sketch. I'm starting to find a truck. Well, we used the TRX and got that trailer snatched out of the way. Up next, we've got this quality Samsung TB right here. All right, now I've got a clear path from the door to the hood to open the engine up. So, next things first, or <laughs> next things first. Next thing I'm gonna try to get all this weeds pulled off the top of it and open the hood. I've, uh, Mr. Gillespie said it had a V8 Detroit two-stroke in it, so. About to find out. We're gonna have a whole Will It Start trailer full of tools. Good Lord. What is that? <laughs> Big old mosquito about to carry my butt away. <laughs> Trying to mess up the patina. We ain't even got to the part of starting it yet. Or trying. Uh. Oh Lord. Hey, found a roof. There are all kinds of creepy crawlies.
hang on, hang on. Go on it. Push it. Woo! It's got a 6V92 Detroit, not an 8V. Turboed though. Water break. I'm dying. Cannot express to you guys how freaking hot and humid it is. Like, I'm dying. But now, let's hope this thing has a key in it. If not, we've got our little starter switch. Oh, there's a key. Now. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Dang, wood grain. Shoot, boy. See the things open right there. That may or may not be good because that opens is open. That means that someone's been tinkering with it. So our batteries right here. I didn't think there was a batteries on the other side. Where is there? Let me go. Down. Double check. If there's not, hopefully those are the only ones we got to deal with. I'm sure everybody's like, oh my gosh, the hood fell down. The hood's fine, it didn't break, so we're good there. Here we freaking go. The only thing we've been combating is with these jump boxes, they require like a draw or voltage to be in the batteries already. But you know what? We've got that other battery with us. Let's just take a couple minutes and put it in here. And that will probably help our cause of starting this machine here. That baby right there. Look at all them ants. All the skeeters are coming out to play. Well, poop. Put that right there. All right, so we've got our battery put in here. Should have some voltage now. And then battery cables are awfully close and they don't look too healthy. I don't know what 93 means, or E6, what does E6 mean? Low current. How are you doing? Fine, how about yourself? Doing good. good. It's hot, ain't it? All these bugs. Buggy, but it's hot. Like, hopefully I'm gonna get this one started up. <laughs> When's the last time it ran? Larry said it'd been like 20 years. I have no earthly idea, son. Long time? No, no, no. My, my memory is like my money. <laughs> Long ass gone. Well, we're gonna keep tinkering with it and see if we can get her started. Hurt. No, sir. Oh yeah, access the wires that go down to the starter solenoid so I can tap into it. One of these two is that. One of them's gonna have power right now, and one's gonna have nothing. So whichever one has power is what we don't need. That's got power. That don't. So we're going to strip both of them back and use one for start and one for not start. Let's hook this back up to our starter. All right. She's kind of in neutral, we think. Let's give it a go. Come on, baby. Cheech. Come on. Do something. That's not a good enough ground. We need a good ground. All right, both jump boxes are a go. Let's hope I don't die. Come on, sweetie. Are you filming? <laughs> oh, I have to shut it off.
This one is way for the belt to burn. <laughs> so what's burning right now is the alternator bell because the alternator is not spinning. And I don't know how to shut it off. take the uh, alternator belt off here before it catches on fire. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting it to start because it's 12 volt, I guess, obviously it started, but another one, like you guys see what we just went through to get this thing out of the bushes. We didn't check the oil. That's a problem. We cut these alternator belts off and we'll give her a rev. <laughs> I think I'm gonna catch something if I get in there too far. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have something for anyways from all this crap. One, two, two belts cut. All right, well, they're off of there now. That's, they're hot. Ooh, they're very hot. Ow, damn it. Yep, alternator belts are off. Let's cheat her up again. Cause why not? We know it eats starts easy. What is it? Three. What, that it started right up? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for more of a challenge. We thought it was 24 volt, but obviously it wasn't. Should we do it again? Just like that. Let's check and see who's got oil pressure. Oh, the tack, tack gauge is working. Sorry for screaming. Oil pressure gauge ain't working. God dang it, get out of here. So either it ain't got no oil pressure, That clutch is stiff. I don't think this thing's gonna move. Not a chance. We can try it. Ooh. We better not do that. <laughs> huh? The whole back end came off. Yeah, because it's put in gear, but the clutch ain't working. The clutch is probably stuck. I don't want to put it in gear, it's going to go right through that tree. <laughs> yeah. Clutch ain't working. Shouldn't be able to move it that easily. Another successful hook batteries up, hook jump boxes up, and watch it start up. <laughs> I will, these, these freaking jump boxes, I know we've worked with these companies to get these things, but these things are the freaking cats me out. Beats the heck at carrying around two big old huge batteries like we've done in the past. Because that's absolutely miserable. But that might be why we're starting up so much easier, because we've got these ridiculous jump boxes. Boys and girls, I don't think this one's gonna move. It's probably not safe for us to try to move it, but it starts. So we're gonna do one last start on this baby before we head out. Give her a little bit of gas this time. So we were fortunate enough that this thing didn't just run away because I wasn't expecting it to start when it did. It's like the last time, last one we did, it wasn't expecting it to start when it did. So it is building oil pressure now, so we'll give her a little rev. She 
definitely sounds like she's hurt or something like that. That's probably why I got parked. It don't sound exactly like it should. Smoking? We'll rev it up again some. Was it blowing a bunch of white smoke? This thing been sitting 25 years. Got all that nasty diesel in it. All right. We're going to return this old girl to her grave. Pack all this stuff back around it. Hope you guys enjoyed another Will It Start. Make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below on uh, what we had going on here. And probably got poison ivy or something right now. I'm itching like crazy. And subscribe. I know most of you guys that are watching these videos aren't subscribed. So go subscribe and check out Lane Finder in the description below. We'll catch y'all later. Peace. So we're going to put it in reverse, Terry, before we catch out of this video. Forgot to mention our merchandise, brucewilsonshop.com. Go grab your Wheel It Start merch. Your Trader Taxi t-shirts are shipping on Wednesday this coming week. But the Wheel It Start shirts are all in stock. Our blue collar equipment, our Wheel It Start key tags, everything. brucewilsonshop.com. See ya.